Hi, my name is James and my Deep Lens Hackathon project is to integrate Alexa with the Deep Lens project um, to allow Alexa to recognize a face that's already been pre-populated in the recognition, face recognition database as well as to recognize new faces and to add these new faces to the face recognition database. So this is a demonstration of my project. Alexa, ask Nautilus Face Tracker who I am. Hello, James. There are just 328 days until your next birthday. Don't forget to live each day to its fullest. Carpe diem. Alexa, ask Nautilus Face Tracker who I am. I'm sorry, but I don't think we have met yet. What is your first name? Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. Nice to meet you. What is your date of birth? April 1st, 2012. Would you like me to enroll you in my face recognition gallery so I have a better chance of recognizing your face next time? Yes. I successfully saved your face to my memory. Hopefully, I will recognize you next time I see you. Alexa, ask Nautilus Face Tracker who I am. Hello, Cynthia. There are just 53 days until your next birthday. Don't forget to live each day to its fullest. Carpe diem. Yay, so we just taught Alexa a new person and she recognized her the second time. Alexa, stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I used the out of the box face detection model and I modified the accompanying lambda function to simply. Uh, once a face was detected by the existing lambda function, I modified it to crop the face and write the face to the temp directory on the deep lens device um, to a file called face.jpg. And then I wrote a Python script to run on the uh, deep lens device that look, keeps, runs in a loop and looks over the temp directory for the latest face.jpg file. And when another one has been written, it loads in that file and writes it up to an S3 bucket. There's a Lambda function that's a trigger on that S3 bucket. And when a new file gets written to that S3 bucket, that Lambda function will ask the uh, recognition service if that face is recognized in the gallery. And the gallery can be built one of two ways. It can be pre-populated with a Python script that uploads a bunch of faces, faces that are indexed by the recognition service in a DynamoDB table. Or Alexa can ask you if you want your face to be added to that gallery if she's never seen you before. And that's, that's what we demonstrated in the, the previous video. Uh, with Cynthia when um, so she wasn't recognized before and Alexa you know asked her name or date of birth and then added her to the uh, recognition mm -hmm. face gallery um, so th that's basically how it works and then um, when the s3 trigger runs and asks the gallery if this face has ever been recognized before uh, a match or no match result are written to the DynamoDB table and that's the that's the table that the Alexa Lambda service queries to to see um, and, and um, the results that are returned from that table are sorted by by date and then the latest date is is used by Alexa so if that the value associated with that latest date is unknown then Alexa knows how to respond. Uh, if, it, if that result has a first name, then Alexa assumes that um, she's currently looking at someone who's recognized and responds accordingly. And so that's basically how it all works.